Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Trusted Jam God. Please don't you can call me Queenie, either one would do. I answer to both. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, donate, all that good jazz. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, it's in the description box below with my email as well. So please email me. Uh, please hit that uh, cl that notification bell so that you guys can be notified each time I upload. And this is Sagittarius general reading for the month of January. Sagittarius general reading for the month of January. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so Saggy, here we go. <clears throat> Sag is just like chilling, changing things by. I, I get a lot of a lot of people doing self care and uh, gratitude. Uh, um, they're changing the way they uh, communicate with the Saturn energy, with the universal Saturn energy. So they um, basically, I see you like adhering to the laws of the universe, basically. Um, yeah, you're adhering to the laws of the universe, I see you. I'm trying to come out of some kind of, um, I'm getting a devil card. You know what the devil represents? Change and, and like uh, some kind of obsession, some kind of bad habits. Let's just put it that way. And, um, you could be dealing with a Virgo, a Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, but you're remembering, um, you're awakening um, to new cycles. Like you're open. You're being open-minded to new cycles, new ways of doing things. I see that you're um, actually just um, really want to change um, your family dynamic, the way you guys do things as a family. I see a lot of people uh, took heed to my message and they're coming out of um, the shadow energy, the shadow self, and into their higher self. The shadow self and the higher self is right there. Yeah. And you may be get I heard something. You may be getting some kind of downloads and messages in your dream about your ex or something. About some um and, and I don't even get it as ex like as a particular ex, like the patterns and, and things you had in, in other relationships that were negative, it seemed like you're trying to break those patterns and just trying to live in a new, you know, the new year resolution thing. Like how people say, I'm this year, I'm setting this goal. This year, I'm doing this. This year, I'm not like some people say they and they soft girl year, you know, or they soft boy year, or they 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 and their loving um year, where they don't have to be harsh or raise their voice or trying to cut somebody out and you know they just not raising their blood pressure this year I see you like taking back control over your relationships and you seeing what toxic uh, toxic traits and patterns that you've been in in relationship wise you're trying to um diff do something different especially with your family and home life um with commitments and stuff even with um businesses and uh, business um, partnerships and stuff like that. It seems like you're taking um, a different approach. Yeah, you feel guilty that you um, haven't been in your North Node, and you're alchemizing this energy, the South Node energy, into being in your North Node. You feel guilty that you wasn't in the North Node. You feel guilty that you wasn't following your true destiny, and you have some kind of clarity on how to love yourself and how to change up things and that is beautiful that's a start see you have this beautiful new rebirth energy meaning that you're you're given you're opening your mind up you're renewing your mind and seeing how you can be different and better in your relationships even in your business your partnership it could be anything but i get more home and family commitment than anything because it is actually out here on the table but it's contracts right above it so it could be both in business and at home life so take it how it resonates if you're doing both it's both if it's just for homes it's for homes just for business it's for business to each his own it's a general reading so basically Sagittarius I see you guys um just really um healing your shadow side and really stepping into like okay I see I can do this different it wasn't some sometimes stuff is not just not 
it's not toxic it just doesn't work for because we come into you know a new world we every year is everything is changing and getting different so sometimes it don't just be toxic sometimes it just don't work because it's a new day it's a new era it's got we got new um uh, way of doing things you know what i mean we got better equipment we got better knowledge and we can do things better we don't have to do it in the same way and i see sagittarius definitely coming out that energy um sagittarius is a sign that likes to try new things and do new things especially um if your son is in sagittarius and you have a um, sagittarius rising these type of people people are like really adventurous yeah and transformate uh transformative so you definitely have a transformation in january you definitely ain't it's for sagittarius it's not all about new year new me it's actually <laughs> new me it ain't how it, it can be the new year that influence it but it's just new you you just doing things new you're doing things different you coming you're coming across things like you know i'm gonna take responsibility for this okay i used to do it this way i'm gonna switch it up i'm not gonna do it that way um that's toxic that ain't or that ain't working no more that person ain't can't stay in my life anymore it's those type of changes that you are um really getting into that that you're really um and it's not just you're talking about it, you're actually doing it like you're actually putting in the action and the sagittarius is about that action sign <laughs> they are there that's my distant cousin i'm a january baby so sagittarius you're my distant cousin <laughs> more kin than we are, are, are not <laughs> yeah you realize some maybe you maybe you have some narcissistic traits about yourself oh my card fell y'all give me a second <laughs> give me a second yeah, you realize you have some narcissistic traits and patterns about yourself. And so now you're just trying to use this new year energy, which is brilliant to, um, especially this is your month. De uh, December is, we're, we're coming out of Sagittarius, I'm going to go into Capricorn, but this is just transformative energy. And this is definitely the time to do that. <laughs> Ain't nobody even going to, everybody, I feel like everybody is, for the most part, most people are focusing on how can I do this better? How can I change? How can I um, alchemize this energy? And that's such beautiful energy to be in. Ooh, some of y'all see that y'all marriage is like toxic. You're like, bye. Mm -mm, I can't do this no more. So uh, I do see um, a breakup or a divorce on the table out here. It did pop out. Yep, uh, health issues. You could be dealing with an air sign or a Cap uh, a air sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Take it how it resonates. Or you could have this in your chart as well. Yeah, you're you're working out the challenges. You saying okay, if you if this is too much, I'm not doing it. Like I'm not, I'm just not doing it. If this you too much, you, you gotta go. You doing too much, you gotta go. Because I feel like. Sagittarius is just want to have fun and want to don't want to be breaking up fights and arguments don't want to be um triggered so I feel like I'm feeling the energy where it's a big wholesome um how can I say it a big homecoming energy like with yourself being in unity with true to yourself true to what you like true to what you want to do true to where you want to move true to your growth true to you're just being authentic in everything that you do now you're not people pleasing that's that's the word i was looking for. you're not people pleasing you're like i want this person i don't want that person here i, I did do you i don't deal with enough and i feel like sagittarius is like Shh. I'm drawing a line in the sand and you might be changing you might be moving you might be breaking up with your husband or your spouse and just going in a different direction like we grew apart or whatever 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 you're going to tell this person but it's definitely given <laughs> this person might be a liar <laughs> but it's definitely giving me um like you can't do this no more that's what i'm getting here sagittarius oh Somebody is confessing something. What are they confessing? It's a water sign that wanna either confess to you or you or or you confess to a water sign about this situation. Let's see. 
either you confess to a water sign or a water sign confess to you about something. Let's see. Somebody, you, 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 you feel like the person you're with has a, a mental health issue. And you feel like, I feel like this is you confessing to the water sign. Hey, whoever the water sign is in your life, could be a mother, father, sister, brother, another lover, I don't know. But it's definitely a water sign that you confess that. I think somebody is a narcissist. And you could be, it's a lot of gossip going on. I'm not going to spill the gossip. Because you confess to a water sign about somebody else that's a fire sign and your relationship. So your best friend might be a water sign. Or your new lover might be a water sign. I don't know. But you're confessing about somebody being, having a mental illness and somebody being so obsessive over something. Um... That they're a gold digger. <laughs> that's what the gossip is. I don't know if you're gossiping. That's what it seemed like. The way the energy come out. That Sagittarius is gossiping. Not only about their own business. But somebody else's business. But I feel like it's not gossip. If you're talking to your friend. And you're just like oh. Because that's your friend. You feel me? You're not spreading around to a bunch of the people. You're like girl this is what happened. And you know. And you're just trying to. You know. <laughs> figure out everything. Or you're just venting to someone. And then. I kind of feel like you gossiping about this fire sign because there's a fire sign here that you are talking about that might be a potential gold digger. I don't know. I'm just getting a piece of your conversation. And you was like, somebody need to move on because <laughs> this person is not good. I feel like you having a talk with one of your friends that's what it seemed like it doesn't seem like you're like telling everybody yeah somebody feel like you're unstoppable or you may feel like oh this person who who has a mental issue uh because i just got mental disorder on the table from the cards like <laughs> Spirit always confirmed with me. It always, always is a confirmation with my cards. That's why I use two and three decks. It's always confirmation. And this, this person may feel unstoppable. And you are like, I am connected to my higher self because I know that this person has a mental illness. Like I, like you know, like this person. He's like, this person is not gonna drive me crazy because <laughs> this person may feel like make you feel like you're crazy that you're the one with the issue and you like nah it's not me bruh if it was me i say it's me but i feel like i'm getting that from you yeah you feel like this person is a snake um and they're worthy of, of some oh 13 13 o'clock <clears throat> they feel like i feel like you this snake feel like they're worthy of something and you're like mm -mm, you not and i feel like you have to move like secretive around this person because this person is a snake and I feel like you just have to move really um intelligently and cautious around this person because <laughs> uh, they the cards don't lie it says this person is unstable they they think they're worthy but they're unstable like they they're giving off unstable vibes yeah Something is jumping or hopping here, it's jumping, and then I got clarity. So, I feel like you're getting bits and pieces of clarity. It's not all coming to you at once, but you're putting together the pieces. That's what I think that jumping means. Like, that's what I'm feeling. Like, because jumping clarity, meaning like I'm getting hits, you know, I'm jumping over here at 14, 14 on the clock. It's like you get bits and pieces of clarity. That's what it's, that's what it's showing me. Even some of your family members might might see it. Some of your family members might see it. That's what I'm seeing too. Yep, and your angels are <laughs> confirming it. Angels. Oh, your aunt and uncle is your angels. Yeah. 
that no, your angels are telling you that you're clever. Your aunts and your spirit guys could be your aunts and your aunt and angel. Take it how it resonates, but I feel like they're the angels are saying you're clever, you're smart, you're onto something. Don't don't think that what you're thinking is wrong because narcissistic people can make you feel like that you're crazy and you're the one that need help and it be them. I keep getting a liar. This liar energy keep popping up. Yeah, it says you're one with God. So you have a new beginning here. This all came at once. And this person, this can't get right person is not welcome. Let's see. Yeah. New beginning with your destiny. Yes. God said so you're at one and you're at a new beginning with your destiny. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> That's how I feel. Like you had a new beginning with your destiny. Go sad. Go sad. Go sad. It's your birthday. Literally, y'all just had birthdays. <laughs> Some of y'all still have birthdays. Go sad. Go sad. Go sad. Hey. Oh, uh, party over here. You know, Sagittarius can party now. They can they can throw down and I uh, <laughs> my friend, my best friend, he a Sagittarius. And baby, they know how to have some fun. They, he kept me on my toes. I'm like, well, you're doing too much. You acting like my cheering in here. Like, even my toes like, well, he love you. I bet you do. He, they, he act like a big old child. He act like a big ass child. So I'm just like, and it's just too much. I know I got like a bubbly personality. Me and him have been like uh, friends for like 10, 11 years. And I know I have a birthday. This, this man be having energy out the out this world he really do and i'm just like <laughs> sagittarius can be big old kids and it's really fun to be around um that type of energy that type of person yeah you you sure say you're gonna have peace with this new beginning with your new destiny i mean with your destiny with your new beginning you're gonna be at peace something about a vehicle let's see Let's see about a vehicle. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, somebody, you're going to have a long-term vehicle. I don't know what that means to somebody. Vehicle could mean a different, a lot of different things, but let's get another card, another card to clarify that. It says long-term vehicle. Hmm. Okay. Somebody trying to one up you about a vehicle because they had theirs for longer than you had yours, so they trying to like one up you about it. Like, oh, you just got that girl. I been had mine. I got this one and this one. You know how people do. Make them feel good because they're a little insecure. And the inside, they're insecure. <laughs> they insecure in the inside. <laughs> they really are dancing. Anybody got to one-up somebody like, I got that too. Like me, I'm not the type of person that's telling you. see me, you see me. You don't, you don't. If I'm feeling good, you see that I'm feeling good. It ain't nothing about what you got or what you don't got. It's all about me. <laughs> what I have, what I don't got. You know what I mean? It's about me. And so I don't care what, if you can have yours for 50,000 50, years and I can just get mine. And I'm still feel a way about mine because <laughs> it's mine. You feel know I me? Mean? <laughs> oh, so people... I know. Some people don't do that. Yeah, they're trying to one up you about a vehicle and money. I don't know. I don't know who doing this ass, but they need to stop. <laughs> they're crying. Told you this person was insecure. You, it's always confirmation when I give any message that I give. That's how I know I be on point. I get so many confirmations that I am on point. Yeah, Spirit said this is gross, nasty behavior. Spirit don't even like it. You probably don't even like it. This person feel gross about themselves and they not good enough. They're not good enough. That's why they have to do what they do and have to do the one up. And Sagittarius, one, two, three, four. Let me know I'm on target. I'm on point. All right, Sag, it's 19, 19 on the clock. I didn't try to make this too long. I'm out, Sag. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful new year and all the above that whatever you want, you can get. I'm telling you. Just being, be at one with the divine.